Hello and welcome back for another episode of Two Idiots on a Mission. Uh, today is a very special day. It's uh, just been uh, an update day. We just received the Warfare Evolutions and Decorative 3 packs. Uh, so Santa Keen has been very kind to us and uh, we're going to have a look at that. But before that, there's, there's a few things that have kind of happened. I recorded this entire thing um, and then the update dropped. So we kind of had to rethink, but I don't want to waste everything I've already done. So here's a quick summary. Um, I started off with the idea that I'm going to convert the ship into being capable of bombing, so atmospheric bombing. Uh, so on the belly of the ship we cut away a load of the ship and we actually put in some uh, welders and merge blocks. Only to realise actually that the uh, welders were in the wrong place so we had to reposition those and then we got some decoys and some warheads placed in. They're timed on three timer blocks which meant a whole overhaul over the computer area for the timer blocks to go in. Um, we also needed some extra programmable blocks because I wanted the floor plan script on the ship as well. So we added new programmable blocks. Uh, I got a bit carried away with that. We did an entire overhaul over that area. We put a new ceiling on as well. He uh, took out the old cargo port doors and replaced them. I think I did speed quite well with that. Um, but yeah, yeah, speed is still asleep, so we're still going on with this. So what we're going to do to start with, we are going to have a look at the uh, new blocks, but we're not going to do it the way everybody else has been doing it. I'm not going to lay them out for you. I'm going to place them on my toolbar and we're going to actually upgrade this ship because it's a warfare pack and this is a warship. So, you know, what better way to do this? So decorative block three is the main bulk of this stuff. Um, for this habitation room, now we're going to have to work around speed, he's asleep. Maybe we'll sort of move him, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how we can go. Uh, but yeah, I'm really keen on these inset blocks. So we're going to take an inset couch. We're going to take the inset bed as well. I like the entertainment centre. The inset kitchen as well, that can replace the kitchen we've got. Uh, there's your quote, we've got to have that. Fish, definitely. Um, the half bed might be interesting. I mean, we've got the inset. Yeah, I think that covers it. There's a couple of things I want to do because we've got this doorway here, which really serves no purpose. We've got to get rid of this. We still want to keep an eye on enemies because I don't want to get speed shit damaged. Uh, that's part of the door, so we can get rid of that. Now, there's the LCD panel behind that. We're going to lose our bookshelf. It's not the end of the world, to be fair. I think we should be fine. Right, we're gonna lose our kitchen. Don't wait, speed up. Okay, we're gonna lose the bed. We're gonna lose the planter. The couch can go. Nah, we'll, we'll wait on that. <laughs> shower, he likes his shower, but sorry. Let's make a bit of room here. That can go. So essentially what we've just done is opened all of this up. Now, let's see what's in. Oh, there's nothing actually in the cargo container. So we're gonna take this off, take this off, take this off. There's another cargo container there. Now this is part of what we did earlier. Lovely, right. We're gonna fill all this in so it's not gonna be like, bleh, if you know what I mean. Those no longer serve their purpose that way, so... Okay. So that sorts that bit out. Now, this is noisy, but it's our refinery. So I can't really get rid of it. And I don't really like it in the ceiling so much, but... I don't think there's room above the refinery to sort of flip it over and do it the other way up. So we might have to sort of just deal with it. Let's see what we can choose from here. This is the new inset couch. So it's got some plants. That's why I got rid of the planter. Now, if I can kind of make use of some of this, so it's like kind of decorative, if you know what I mean. So like we put that there. So as you come in at all, you're greeted by something nice, something quite pleasant. On the other side, I want the same thing. 
Doesn't work the other way around though. That's a little bit disappointing. So we'll have to find another thing to put there. This is the inset bed. So we keep the beds kind of where they were. The bed. His bed can be next to it. Yeah. I want to delete that. It's doing my head in. We might have to kick him out of his bed and sort of like he won't he won't feel it. He sleeps over it. <laughs> okay, so two beds. We can call them afterwards. That's fine. Right, next. So we might move the couch at some point. That's kinda of like that. You walk in, you see plants. It's like, we that's cool. Although we have corners here, so yeah, place up there. There is a sort of method to my madness, but we'll figure that out shortly. Uh, right, we've got another space there we can use because, like, all of this greebling is so awesome. Um, right, so here we have our entertainment center. Its positioning's a bit like doesn't make much sense, so we won't use that there. I don't think we could have the kitchen. If we put it the right way up. Kitchen by the bed's a bit, uh, it's a bit scummy. No, aquarium is perfect. Gravity components, of course. That makes sense. Like we're in space, it's not guaranteed to be gravity here and you don't want all the water leaking out. That's pretty cool. Right, how are we on the gravity components? What are we short on? We have the gold. We, we haven't got enough cobalt. Okay, let's disassemble some of these. We don't have enough silver. Okay, I'm going to go and pinch some resources from the station and I will be back very shortly. So you can come with me. Yeah, this is what we did. I might rethink some of this, although we can't like fuss with some of these anymore because like, they've got stuff on them now. I would love to be able to cover these over, but I went with glass on these. Let's go and get some gold and silver and stuff that we're missing. Yeah. The main aim of this little exercise, actually we can get more gold, so I don't think I took a lot of that. The main exercise here is like to make sure that we've got enough resources on board here so that we can easily repair after like serious injury. Yeah, we lost this one in the uh, battle on the alien planet. Okay, let's uh, carry on as you work. I have some spare uh, thruster bits now. This will be getting a bit of a refret. This is like way bigger than it looks like it should be. It's so cool. Where's our property coming out again? There we are. Way. Oh, okay. Now that is so cool. The fish are clipping a bit, but it is so cool. Nice. Okay, so you can sit here and watch the fish. This is great. Right, okay, that's the uh, sleeping part there, kind of sorted. Fresh oxygen and everything, quick escape hatch. We've done the insect couch, we've done the insect beds. So what the entertainment system is this to put in, the kitchen to put in, the aquarium's in. Half bed we're probably not gonna go with. Have I left anything out here? Bookshelf, yes. 
bookshelf. Of course. Where do we put our books? Do we put it there? Do we put it there? It there makes the most sense. You're kind of going to end up with like everything crammed in one space, but. You know, this is like ship life. And this has storage space. We can put things. It's like, that's pretty cool. Speed's good. Oh, dear me. Maybe we should brick him in. <laughs> Something tells me the game's got a way of getting you out of that situation. Okay. Right, kitchen, 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 kitchen. Right, now the kitchen's like a double thing, so I feel like this is the best way to put it. Like there, and then we take this wall out here. We can put his beloved shower in. So I'm really liking this inset stuff. It's a good way of making, I mean, we could even be using these wall blocks and keep all of this open, but this is already an absolutely huge space. So I don't think it's necessary. Um, so shower, da da da. Door doesn't open, but hey. Okay. There's no toilet in here, so we still need a toilet room. I think we put it like way out of the way somewhere. The uh, bathroom. I really want a door on this thing. Um, offset door, I think so on. And the door's got number two on it. But it still is a car container. Which, heaven help me, I really do have to cap off. this space here, what do we do with this space? This area here should be storage of some sort. So... We will paint this stuff up in a bit. Okay, so we've got all this. Now we need entertainment space, so... Entertainment system. Nice. Not quite as big a screen as the other one, but you know what? It'll do. It's not the most accessible way, but we can get to it if we need to repair it. That's the main thing. And that noise will go away eventually. I promise you. It will. <laughs> Um, now I wish that didn't take up this block space because now I can't actually place the couch right here. I have to place the couch back here. You see, you could put a corner couch in, like right there. Yeah. Nice. Do you know what? I don't like the entertainment system being in the wall like that. Yeah, this works. So now it feels kind of like it should do. Although, I mean, that would bug me if it was my actual house. I'd have to have a double wide here, but I'm going to make it a double entertainment room. Just because. Look half bad actually. Light for when you're cooking. There's plenty of light there from the shower. These lights are still tight, day night thing. Just 
kind of cool. It's a shame you can't pull a curtain across here. That would have been nice, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, armory. There's room for the old armory. Yes. Lockers. You know, just because we've got new stuff doesn't make the old stuff completely useless. It's not obstructive of this area. Um, huh? The actual bookshelf. Dead bird. Speed bird. Oh dear. We're going to leave that there just for him to have some sleep before he transfers himself over. Like, literally, that's, that's what we're going to do. But we need a plan for what we're going to put here in place of him. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually going to place that there. I'm so easily distracted. Yeah, because these characters only sit one. So there's two of us. I mean, there's lots of seats over here, but like seats here for the, for that. Adds a little bit of green to this area, and this space next to it, I think we can. Nah, I don't know. Maybe we keep Speed's bed there just to keep him happy, or we put like an additional bunk in or something. Something that allows us to still take use of uh, that. Maybe like a guest bed, I don't know. Um, right, we've got a block here we can pull out. So I want something with buttons on. So we're looking for a, a block that has, it's clearly not that one. Hmm. Let me put that bookshelf in. Huh, we completely hit a wet bike. That's what we can put in there. Oh, actually, you know we're going to lose out on a lot. Because there's that cool bit there. Do you know what? No. The fish tank. Is going here. Um, fish tanks go in there. Inventory full. I'll explain my thinking in a second. But I quite like which one was the bookshelf again? Bookshelf, right. See, this works here because it's like a little coffee service area. Uh, I could have put it over here. Oh, maybe it could have gone there. No, because then it cuts off that. Now, a little coffee service area here is kind of cool. Speed wants something like that. Um, you know, you wake up in the morning, you get your coffee. Bang, sorted. Um, Fish tank though, I have to have the aquarium. Um, you can go here, because it's got the little side window there. So, I want to take full advantage of that side window. There you go, right. Uh, he's gonna see that when he wakes up. What's that one? High pressure, okay. Yeah, that works. And speed reads thing can be replaced with a couch. Um, maybe a regular one or something. Du -du -du -du. Yep, good, 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 good. Button for the door, right. <laughs> Still getting distracted, okay. Button panel. Why am I an idiot? I want something with buttons on. <laughs> There's an everything button panel right there. Okay. Now the question is, is how we integrate this, because like, there's, there's a door here. If I put the button panel like that, in, in place of this block here, it's gonna look a bit odd. A door covering half of it. 
so it can't really go there. If I put it in like this way around, then the button panel's in the wrong spot. Do you know what I mean? Wrong, wrong. Mm. Button panels on the outside of the door? I don't think so. Maybe the button panel should have gone there instead of that. Okay. Sorry, fish. Fish are more important than books. No, let's not get distracted. Button panel. Oh. Yes. I am quite pleased with the performance so far. The server, the server sometimes gets a little bit laggy. That's the server. It's got nothing to do with the game. Right, we have our buttons. One, two, three. Bingo. And I can like mark on the screen. Right, so let's configure these buttons. Button two. No, button one's on and off. Button two will be day mode. So run. Bunk, semicolon space, day mode, 255, 255, slightly warmer colour maybe, it's so not a full 255 on the blue, maybe just like a 200, okay, and for night mode, one, so it's like evening mode shall I say, uh, bunk, zero on the red, no, maybe like 20 on the red, 20 on the green, 150 on the blue, so keep it like dim. Uh, button one, bonk. On, off. So, lights off. Lights on. Day mode. Night mode. Now I just need to put all these other little lights in the same rule. Bunk, bam, one, two, three, save. So now when I turn them all off, they all turn off. Still lots of light in here, but I think it's because of the sci-fi stuff. And this. Yeah, perfect. Day mode. That's in day mode. Night mode. Ooh, I love that. Off. It's pretty good. Right. Oh dear speed. You guys get you out there at some point. Right. Okay, on with the show. So the lights are there, let's turn the lights off. Back on. Put on kind of night mode for later. Right. Now, here's some cool stuff that we can play with. One specific area I definitely want to play with here. We've got this zero G zone here, because like, as soon as you step on, there's no gravity here. Uh, I want a better warning than this crappy thing. So there are new panels. So LCD, there's a holographic LCD panel. Why can't I put it there? That is kind of annoying. I can't put it that way there. Maybe I can put it there if I place one of these there. Yes. Okay. Great tip. You need something like a panel. You know, let's place them down. Okay, colour. Uh -huh. Okay. That looks 
tire better. It's a little less weird. Right, energy's low. Time to work on this section up here. So there's been some changes to the med bay as well. Then you've got a new cosmetic med bay. Um, one thing I want to do here because like at the moment we've got a vent here which honestly don't really need it. I can honestly just put some sort of window grate on here. Right. So like that will allow oxygen in and out of that room because it's coming through there and it will fill all of this and sort all that out. We don't need to really be worried about all that. So that's good. Next. Uh, this is a slight risk, but we'll definitely get rid of you for the moment. Since there's no cargo access there. Uh, don't know why I jumped. It's just a bit odd. Getting all my keys mixed up. Right, let's not die for the minute because I'm going to remove this. Uh, there's the corner medical room. So this thing, if you notice, has a port on the back side there and a port on the other side. So like a port on each corner on the back. But it doesn't actually have any on the top or on the bottom. So let's see. Um, if I do it that way, put it in there. Bay. So it's designed to actually like kind of sit flush in with the corner. Um, I could have brought that in, but it's like that's necessary, unfortunately. Uh, I probably could have piped through the floor instead, but some of that piping's quite there. Now I'm quite fine with that. It's, it looks kind of industrial, and that's sort of what I'm going for here. Because like all of this is like really super greebled and everything. Um, Yeah, and uh, we need something that can go there. Ideally something that can use that cargo, but I'm thinking the only thing that comes to mind is the new cryos. So I am going to put cryo room in here. Double connection, that's perfect. Okay, so it's like an emergency cryo room. So like, you can kind of see, it's freaking cool. Right, next thing I need to do is move outside. This does work. I think there's room for something on the end of here. Uh, yeah, another button panel here just for the crap. While I'm here. So look at, right, so these are the new production things that they've done. So they've got sorting for ammo types, weapon types, tool types, equipment, component types, and so on. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I want to actually queue up a bunch of large grid window blocks because like literally making sure we have the materials to actually finish like repairing the hangar bay windows. It's kind of a bit important, so I'm just gonna Cure a bunch of those and let them be made so that whatever materials it needs to repair it can do that. Now out here, what I'm going to do 
So we've got two antennas and it's like really, really pointless having two antennas. So this one can go. Inventory full. <laughs> and it's like the most enormous inventory use ever. Right. Okay, let's just uh gee, beacon. Brand new beacon type, and it's like well cool. Um just get the colour right. There. Now calls cool that. It's not all stupid and glowy. Just looks pretty freaking awesome. It's slightly asymmetrical, which is great for this ship. It's what exactly it needs. Right. Uh, let's get some solis on here. So solar. It's got these new shapes. So slope left, slope right. Uh, that includes all of them. That's just easier. So that's a normal solar panel. That's kind of how the new ones work. They're double sided. You have the slopey stuff on. So if I can just grab some of the materials for like one or two of these. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a bit different. It's not getting any sun right now, but like, yeah, just in the off chance. A solar panel like that could be the difference between like limping home and not getting the back back in one piece at all. I mean, they're a little less powerful. Like one of well, two of these is basically the equivalent to one normal one. Right, so let's just make sure we've got the right colour here. Oop. I mean to get a gun. Yeah, paint black. Don't you absorb all the sun. That blends in really well. I like it. And it's not going to get cooked by any thrusters. See, the annoying thing about these is you can't like put them uh, flush like that or anything. You have to give them clearance. Now the other problem is, oh yeah, this is the new worm. Um, bomb system once it's fully welded up. So there are the warheads, these are the decoys, the timers release the decoys first and the warheads three seconds later, then resets the system ready to weld up again. And they're a part of the blueprint, so providing the blueprint is turned on, on the projector, this will keep working and those projectors, those welders are permanently on. So it's just a gravity bomb, all it does is disconnects and lets them fall. So the bottom half of the ship at the very least has to be in some form of gravitational field. I could have put some mass blocks on them, but that would also mean then using batteries in order to get the mass blocks to provide power. Um, kind of not worth it. Now they do bring it down quite close to... Um, bottom of where the landing gear comes out because this like covers two blocks so not advisable to land with them actually attached to your ship and enabled so you could probably land with them not armed but the arming process is part of the launching process it's automatic so if they're armed for a total of three seconds before the launch which builds in a little bit of vulnerability but at the end of the day you know, it's, it's a good trade-off. Uh, ah, I could put something in here. Yes. Right, so I'll put a couple more in. Make me use all the cells. Thank you. Right, which way is that pointing? Pointing buttons. Yep, perfect. From the front of it. It's not really much choice where you put it. Ta da! Bunch of solar panels. A fancy. 
do like a solar panel mohawk right down the middle of the ship. Yeah. I see, I originally thought of having them like here in place of these, but then I was mistaken because they're not actually like panels. Yeah, they're kind of like half blocks that have to be attached on an edge. Don't understand that in case that shoots. Um, okay. Is there anything else from Decorated Pack 3 that we have left out? Uh, yes. No. Oh. Reva's seen what? I kind of have to be careful with these because, like, if that Reva Carver decides to start attacking the yeah, that's what I was afraid of. You just damaged me. so you should start repairing. Now there's some new camera improvements that have been included. Which should have let me get like really close with the camera and it doesn't pop me. See, it'd rather like swing the camera through the ship than actually pop me back into first person, which is marvelous. Right, we're repaired. Fantastic. Right, so a couple of things I want to do. Now, we've got also uh, some brand new LCDs. We've got sloped LCD panels. I don't know if I can fit them in here though, because that's just a, it's like a sloped panel. It's, it's not really the sort of thing you'd put them in so I can't exactly like squeeze well, I could replace the panel with it and have them here uh, it looks a bit silly that um, I was hoping I'd be able to use some in the cockpit but kind of doesn't work I could possibly use like the uh, holograms here and get rid of like some of those central bar things It's actually perfect. Okay. Um, this is like my new favorite block, I think. Especially for cockpits. It's like less obstructive. I mean, I know, I know I've got the window pane there, but having the window pane and then the actual, like, it just makes more visibility loss. I think this is better anyway, it's less distracting, um, gives the information I need. I might actually dull this bit down a little bit. So take these down to like... Yeah. It's like round about 102, 103. Close enough. Yeah, that's less distracting. So just to recap on what we've done, we've got hollow projectors from the new pack, um, which released yesterday. That would be Thursday for everybody, depending on you're watching it. Uh, we now have our new med bay, new cryos, which you can actually see in bookcase. We have new button panels, 
Another use for the hollow. I've put a hollow thing on there to protect from this explosive hazardous environment. There's inset LCDs there, so they take up less space. They look a lot more flush and tidy. And like we've decked out our room so well with it all. It's opened up so many other opportunities. Uh, we've used a few blocks that already existed, but they pair up quite well with the fact that there's like these corners and I put that big screen there. I mean, to be honest, it could just be a hollow, but it's just a way of using the inset screen. Because if I put a hollow here, it would be a problem because this block's taken up with that. We've hidden a red toilet. Plants, sofa, kitchen, bed, bed. This bed's going eventually. He's so asleep. So anyway, yeah, um, next time we're gonna do a little bit more work around here and see what else we can use. And um, speed ship's nearly done, so we'll make sure that that's flyable by the end of the next episode. And we'll go try and battle something. So we'll catch you next week. See ya.